If you're a Nikon photographer, what I'm about to reveal about the upcoming Nikon Z52 might make you want to start saving right now, because this groundbreaking camera could completely revolutionize entry-level full-frame photography in 2025. The leaked specifications I've uncovered suggest that Nikon isn't just updating their accessible Z series, they're reimagining what's possible with an entry-level full-frame mirrorless camera. Before we dive in, take a moment to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we'll be covering everything from the impressive 24.5 megapixel backside illuminated complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensor to the detailed pricing information, and most importantly, a game-changing feature that Nikon has kept under wraps until now, one that could fundamentally change how we think about affordable full-frame photography forever. Let's address what many Nikon enthusiasts have been eagerly anticipating. The confirmation of the 24.5 megapixel full-frame backside illuminated complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensor. This specification alone represents a massive leap forward in Nikon's entry-level imaging technology. But there's considerably more depth to this development than just the impressive technology. Let me paint you a picture of what we're dealing with here. Imagine having the sensitivity and dynamic range of a backside illuminated sensor paired with Nikon's legendary color science, all in a body that's accessible to enthusiasts. But before I reveal that breakthrough feature that's going to change everything, let's examine this sensor in detail. The newly developed full-frame backside illuminated complementary metal oxide semiconductor sensor represents a fundamental shift in Nikon's approach to entry-level cameras. The sophisticated sensor design allows for incredible low-light performance while maintaining clean images even at higher ISO settings. But here's what makes this truly remarkable. Nikon has managed to maintain their signature color science while pushing the boundaries of what an entry-level camera can do. The implications for travel and everyday photographers are significant. Imagine capturing decisive moments in challenging lighting with the camera maintaining that distinctive Nikon look that enthusiasts love. The sensor works in perfect harmony with Nikon's new X-Speed 7 processor. And this is where things get really interesting. According to leaked specifications, this processor isn't just about speed. It's about redefining how an affordable full-frame camera processes image data. The implications for hobbyist photographers are significant. Imagine capturing fast action with virtually no buffer limitations, even when shooting raw. But there's something else about the camera's capabilities that literally made me do a double take when I first saw the leak, and we'll get to that game-changing feature in just a moment. Picture this. You're shooting in a dimly lit cathedral with this camera. You could be capturing images with incredible detail and dynamic range that were previously impossible with an entry-level camera. The leap in image quality is staggering, but that's not even the most exciting part. Speaking of performance, there's something about the dual-card slot system that's going to make a lot of photographers very happy. The Z52 comes with dual ultra-high-speed, two secure digital card slots, giving you options for backup, overflow, or separating RAW and JPEG files. Can you guess which camera manufacturer is probably getting nervous right now? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, because what I'm about to reveal about the autofocus system might change your mind. The dual card slots aren't just about redundancy, they're about what Nikon understands about serious photography workflow. Having that peace of mind on important shoots without needing to spend flagship camera money is a game changer for wedding photographers and event shooters who are just starting out. But before we dive into that, let's talk about what might be the most revolutionary aspect of these leaks. The advanced autofocus system. I know what you're thinking, haven't we seen hybrid autofocus before? But what Nikon has done here is completely different. The new system features 273-point hybrid autofocus with enhanced eye and animal detection. But here's the breakthrough. They've managed to bring flagship-level tracking performance to an entry-level camera. The leaked documents suggest that this new system can maintain focus lock in situations where previous entry-level models would struggle, all while operating with speed and precision that was previously reserved for cameras costing twice as much. The implications of this technology are staggering, and just wait until you hear what I've discovered about this autofocus system's real-world performance. Stay with me, because I'm about to reveal exactly why this feature alone might be worth the upgrade, 
Plus, I'll share the leaked price point that's going to make a lot of premium camera manufacturers very uncomfortable. This means consistent focus on fast-moving subjects, even in challenging light conditions. Think birds in flight, active pets, or sports photography, all within reach of photographers who don't have pro-level budgets. But first, let's talk about the physical design elements that make this camera special. The 5-axis in-body image stabilization deserves special attention. Nikon has reportedly refined the system to provide up to five stops of compensation, making handheld shooting in challenging conditions not just possible but reliable. What's remarkable is that despite the increased capabilities, Nikon has managed to keep the body compact and comfortable for all-day shooting. The bright 3.69 million dot organic light-emitting diode electronic viewfinder provides a clear, detailed view of your subject while the 3.2-inch tilting touchscreen liquid crystal display offers flexible shooting positions. The 4000 Ultra High Definition video is limited to 30 frames per second, but there's a catch to all of this, and it's one that could actually work in your favor. While it doesn't offer 4000 Ultra High Definition at 60 frames per second in the base mode, the Z52 shoots full high definition at an impressive 120 frames per second, giving you superb slow motion capabilities that many creators will find more useful than higher resolution at standard frame rates. For vloggers who've ever struggled with stability when capturing moving subjects, this is a game changer. The combination of excellent autofocus and robust stabilization makes handheld footage look surprisingly professional. Let's talk power management and connectivity, because this is where Nikon has made some surprising improvements. The Z52's enhanced battery efficiency isn't just about longer shooting times, it's about professional reliability. The leaked documents suggest you can expect significantly more shots per charge compared to the original Z5. But here's what's really interesting. They've added universal serial bus type C charging and power delivery support. This means you can charge the camera or even power it directly from a portable battery pack or wall adapter during extended shooting sessions. The connectivity features tell us something important about Nikon's vision for the future. The inclusion of built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth isn't just about faster transfer speeds, it's about professional workflow integration. Imagine being able to transfer your images directly to your device with virtually no lag or maintain a constant connection for geotagging your images. The infrastructure is already built into this camera. It's just waiting for photographers to fully embrace these capabilities. Based on multiple reliable sources, Nikon is positioning the Z52 at just $1,499. Now think about that for a moment. Yes, it's an investment, but for a full-frame camera that completely redefines what's possible in the entry-level segment while maintaining Nikon's legendary build quality and exceptional optics, the value proposition is undeniable. For enthusiasts looking to step up to full frame without breaking the bank, or professionals seeking a capable backup body, this price point hits a sweet spot in the market. The expected release window puts this camera in stores by April 2025, just in time for the summer shooting season. Based on all the leaked specifications and features we've discussed, if these reports prove accurate, the Nikon Z52 represents more than just an incremental upgrade. It's a bold statement from a company that's determined to redefine the entry-level full-frame category. This camera isn't just about maintaining Nikon's position in the market. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible in affordable full-frame photography. At this price point, it's clear that Nikon is confident about what they're bringing to the market. Unprecedented autofocus capabilities, professional-grade stabilization, dual card slots, and that impressive backside illuminated sensor paired with their latest processor. Remember, these are all based on leaked specifications and insider information. But if they hold true, the Z52 could be the most significant entry-level full-frame camera release of 2025. Let me know in the comments below what feature excites you the most about this upcoming camera.